Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a pie chart and how you can create a pie chart on a non-adjacent column. So I've got an example here where I've got male and female. You've got the male in the yellow and the female in the blue. I want to recreate these two pie charts. So I'm going to delete them and then do them one at a time. So first of all, you always need to start in the blank yellow cell. That is so that you pick up the label and then you highlight all the area that you want. So the male is all of the yellow area. I've highlighted that. Then it's insert, pi, and I want the 3D pi. And that might be all you need to do. That's it. But I want to make this a little nicer. So I'm going to delete these dates. I don't want them there. If I click on the little plus on the right hand side, I can go to data late labels and then follow the little arrow across and select data call out which looks nicer and i can also pull out a segment if i want to so i'm going to click on this green segment now when i do that all the other segments are clicked as well so i'm going to click it again which will isolate that one and then i can slide that out a little bit not too far probably a bit more than that because as you pull this out the rest of it goes smaller so you just have to be careful you don't pull it out too far if you do, you can just push it back and do it again. Now, the last thing I want to do is click into the top right hand corner, chart area, so the whole thing is selected, not the segment, and then go to format on the top there on the ribbon and set the size seven by seven centimeters. So seven, seven, press enter on the second seven, and you create a seven centimeter square. If it's in inches, you want about a three inch square. Now move that over there. So that's the male done. Now, if I want the females, I have to do this. I still start in the blank yellow cell, highlight the dates. Hold your control key down, click on the word female and highlight the figures. It's important that you do click on the title, otherwise it won't appear at the top like male does. So that's how you miss out a column. Just use your control key and the, you can select non-adjacent columns. And then you repeat the process, insert pi, 3D pi, and you get the word female appear in there. Now let's delete the dates, delete the dates, go to the plus, and data labels, follow it across, data call out, and then I'm gonna pull out this green segment, isolate it by clicking it twice or double clicking it, pull it out, and then finally click in the top right hand corner, Go up to format, select the measurement. So this is going to be seven by seven. Press and enter there. And then I can position this side by side with the other one, like so. And then what's a really cool feature is this. I can join these two together so I can move them as a pair. To do that, I need to hold my shift key down and then click on the other pie chart. So like that. Now they've both got the circles around the outside edge. If I stay on the line and right click, I can go to group and group them as a pair. So that gives you an extra box around the edge. If I sit my mouse on that, I can pick these up and move them as a pair. If I click on female, for example, I can still move female down individually or male. But you can still see that other box, which means I can move them as a staggered pair like this now around the screen. You don't have to do that, but if you've got multiple pie charts or even charts, normal charts, that you want to move together as a group, that's how you do it. You just right click and select group. So I'll just push these back over underneath the table. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can create a pie chart and how you can create a pie chart based on non-adjacent columns. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.